Alrighty, fun day of specs. So I'm writing specifications today, and it looks like there's this new, well, I guess not new, it's new to me, Masterworks um, add-on. It is a uh, companion app for Microsoft Office. So you load it into Microsoft Office, and I think it helps you go through your specifications faster. It'll like take out options or accept options and like remove whole paragraphs if you want. On Microsoft website, it says that Masterworks is a companion app for the Masterworks Capital Program. Uh, you need a license to use it, which kind of makes sense because when I opened it up, it says you must activate your license. Right, so if we switch over to Microsoft Word here, you can see that Masterworks is actually a tab at the top. Um, right next to Bluebeam and other stuff. So what it does for this document is that it makes it faster for me to edit the specifications how I want it to. And there's a couple features in here that are really nice that I like um, to kind of speed up my whole process. So number one, if you're reading the specification for the first time, you can go up here to single file formatting and you can toggle on editor's notes. So from here, it'll be it'll show you these blue texts that um, add extra information as to like what you should put in each one of these sections or if you should take the whole thing out if you don't have this. Um, you know, retain coordination drawing paragraph below for situations where limited space and set states, maximum utilization, you know what I mean. So it adds extra like context to your specifications. Uh, these blue text won't print or anything, but I found out that if you were to select this entire uh, book spec and try to copy it into your drawing spec, for some reason, these, this blue text actually goes with it, and it'll start showing up on your drawings if you, for some reason, decide to put a book spec on a drawing spec. Uh, I'm not sure how to get rid of that yet, but this is where the text comes from if you happen to stumble across this. The, the feature that I use most right now is actually to go to the next option, next and previous options. Uh, so if I were to let's go back to the top. Um, if I were to go to next options here, it'll highlight basically the spot that I need to focus my attention on to change what I need to. So here it says insert item, uh, items, pen what is this, coordination drawings, items penetrating finish ceiling including the following. If there's nothing else to add, then I would actually just click X and it will remove that option. Then you just jump to the next one. Um, software backup, do you want it on USB or manufacturer website? So if I want it on USB, I hit I hit this accept option and it'll format it so that it looks like it's part of the spec. Then it'll jump to the next one on manufacturer website. I don't need that then, so I hit X and you see that it just gets rid of the option altogether. Jump to the next one, insert failure modes, nothing. Oh, see every now and then it, it leaves this hanging bullet point, which is kind of annoying. So two year, Check, next, contact configura configurations, um, let's do this, and it just goes on and on. So uh, here's a good one, um, electronic time switch, like I don't need, uh, we don't have any time switches in the project, so to get rid of this whole paragraph, you actually just go up here to delete subparagraph, and it'll actually take out the entire section. Um, that's like super helpful because this uh, it's this is like a boilerplate uh, specification where basically everything's in here and then you take out the stuff that you don't need. So another time switches. I don't I don't have any time switches. Outdoor photoelectric. We're not doing anything outside. But anyways, you get the idea. Um, there's a couple tools up here which are super essential. It's uh, the next option, previous option, the jump back and forth. You can blow through your whole spec real quick and just pick all the options then you can either accept or uh, accept all options. So like if, let's say, this makes no sense to do this on here, but let's say this entire paragraph, I want to accept everything on here. Everything's good as is. So you just click that, there's a little confirmation button. Um, oh, I think I have to do this. There we go. <laughs> you see how quickly it just goes through and edits everything. It's nice if the if the options are actually correct. Um, and then next to that, it's you can delete option, delete all option. It's mostly I do most of my work using these buttons up up here, and of course the delete paragraph button. And then once that's all done, um, I just go ahead and save the specification, publish as PDF, and I'm done with it. So it probably 
saves me at least half of the time. So like sometimes something like this might take me, I don't know, a half hour to normally get through. I could probably get through it in about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is how you just kind of start using this. I've only been doing this for maybe like a week. Um, I only adjust the specifications that are already set up for me. So the company actually sets up most of this for me where they add the options that we should use. And then I just take out the stuff that we're not using on this particular project. So hopefully this will get you started using Masterworks. Uh, I know there's a lot to digest and as I learn more, I'll post an updated video for like an in-depth dive on this. But right now I turn on edit editors. No. Right now I turn on editors notes and um, I just go through the options and I remove paragraphs as needed. All right, well, good luck with the specifications. Don't fall asleep and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.